Covering news that matters. Fox 23 News at 530 starts right now. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Rick Maranon. And I'm Shay Rossi. In a Fox 23 investigation, for years they couldn't row on the Arkansas River, but now the Tulsa Rowing Club is back on the river. Tulsa's investigative reporter Jana Clark looked into why they had to leave and the reason they're able to get back on the water. The Tulsa Rowing Club is back on the water in the Arkansas River, thanks in large part to Tulsa taxpayers, who spent almost $50 million to build Zinc Lake and the Wave Park. One outcome, more water in the river. You can't row without water. That's correct. Longtime rowing instructor Neil Bergenroth started rowing as a teenager in Great Britain. When I got in a boat when I was 13 years old, it was like I'd found home. When he moved to Tulsa and started coaching with the rowing club in 2002, they practiced on the Arkansas River. He helped grow the club from 15 kids up to 60 from 15 different local high schools. Just really providing access to really a wonderful life-changing sport here in Tulsa. So it grew a lot during that time. It did, it did. And then what happened? Well, unfortunately, the river uh, you know, kind of went away. It became very inconsistent, very hard to train on. And that was prone about 2008, 2009. So you just tried to practice and you couldn't? Yeah, it's very important when you're running a youth team or rowing team that you have access to water. Did it come to a point where the water levels were so low that had it become a safety issue? Yeah, I mean, a safety issue, um, more of a just impracticality. The rowing club had to stop using the Arkansas River for practice, and they teamed up with the University of Tulsa, who let them practice at their rowing facility on the Verdigris River in Catoosa. That presented challenges with recruitment because it's a bigger ask to ask a parent to drive out to Catoosa 25 minutes, you know, at, at 5 in the afternoon and pick their kids up at 7. Although numbers dwindled, the rowing club stayed there all these years until now. Why were you able to come back? We were able to come back because the river now is more consistent with the creation of Zinc Lake. Um, we can now know that there's reliable water with a suitable depth and with those two ingredients in place it makes sense for us to come back. Neil says their boats that they call shells sit about two feet deep into the water. Two feet is not enough. Right you need a little uh, extra. You do. For safety. You do. When you're rowing, I mean, you can't obviously see under the water. You know, how do you know it's deep enough, safe enough to row? Typically what you can do is get on a website. The Corps of Engineers will release gauges and there's real-time websites so you can see how deep the water is. And generally speaking, we need about three or four feet consistently to row. Some Tulsans have questioned the quality of the water and the city tests it twice a week for bacteria and for some chemicals. The city publishes the results on this public dashboard. Obviously the safety of the kids is important. It is a water sport, so there is some contact with it. I mean, I think the water quality is something that the city should be concerned about. You can uh, flip your shell, you can fall in. It is a concern for the city to ensure that it's doing absolutely everything it can to keep its you know, recreational activities on the river as safe as possible. Neil thinks getting back to rowing in a more central location here in in Tulsa will allow the rowing club to grow once again. Guys, spin! We're excited to be back here on the Arkansas, having that visibility so people can see us enjoying our love of rowing. And he would like to see not just Tulsa Rowing Club, but rowing competitions come to Tulsa. If the water's here and it's consistent, we can start to think about those events and pulling more people into town to take part. On the Arkansas River, covering news that matters, Jana Clark, Fox 23 News. Over the past few years, there's been some talk about potentially holding rowing events in the Arkansas River. We investigate the safety of that coming up in part two on Thursday.